guys welcome back to my channel sorry it's been a while like I said it's just been busy with the holidays and just uh, with everything it just seems like run around lately with my like a chicken with a head with its head cut off but today I'm gonna hop on here and finally gonna do the bring back my bar um, first sniffs um, if you're not um, if you're not sure what bring back my bar is it's I believe it's you take votes um, so every, every month or every so long, um, usually when we get like our new catalog, so like when fall and winter go out and spring and summer once come, we have to get rid of some scents because we have to bring new scents in. So we can't keep every single scent. So some scents do discontinue, they retire. So um, at a certain month of the year, I believe it's September or October of every year, um, they do a bring back my bar, which is a vote thing that you can vote for so long on what bars that you like or what any bars that have been discontinued that you want to come back. And then in January, all the winners are picked and you can purchase the ones that have won for the whole month of January. So here I am today. Um, there were, they became available for consultants to purchase on December 18th. So I snagged them up as soon as I could. I didn't get mine till after January because I had a party going on. I wanted to wait to close my party. So, so yeah, that's how that went. So I didn't get mine till after January, but um, I do have them finally. Um, they're all available. Sorry, stuff on my bed here. Um, they are all available to purchase right now as we speak. Um, they're six dollars each, or you can do the six for thirty, whatever you want. Or there's three for seventeen. So. Let's get started. There's quite a few here. Um, we have 25 to be exact. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get sniffing. And I'm going to first give you my opinion on what it smells like. And then I'm also going to um, tell you, oops, sorry. No, not that. Um, tell you what Sensi says about it. So I'm going to go through here and start smelling. Okay, our first one that I've got here is the Sticky Cinnamon Bun, which looks like this. It's a brown wax here. And this, to me, smells like a straight cinnamon bun. So if you walk into a Cinnabon or anything like that, or you got, excuse me, fresh cinnamon buns in the oven and, like, the icing and the cinnamon, um, you definitely get a cinnamon note of this, but definitely smells just like a cinnamon bun. But, yes, a very, very... Um, if you don't like cinnamon, you probably won't like this because it does have a pretty good cinnamon note to it. All right, so I'm going to go on here and look up stick a sticky cinnamon bun and see what Sensi says. Cinnamon and sweet icing with warm, nutty nuances. But yeah, I get, I mean, you can smell the icing, but I get a lot more cinnamon out of this than anything else. So this is the sticky cinnamon bun. And next is Wild Watermelon. And it is like a light green wax. And this smells like cucumber melon, like body wash. Definitely, definitely a lot of watermelon. So if you're a watermelon lover, this one definitely would be for you. Oh, I got a warmer here. I'll turn it off. <laughs> but yeah, it's... Definitely watermelon. That's all I get out of it is just a, a very strong watermelon scent. So it would be a very good, like a spring and summer type scent to have going in your home. And it says, your little wild one will love this fun and fruity fragrance bursting with ripe watermelon, green apple, and scrumptious sugared pineapple. I don't get the pineapple, but I do get the, definitely the watermelon. And yes, you do get a little of the green apple in there too, but. Very good smelling. It's a good smell for even like like I said, your little ones would probably enjoy this. So it'd be good for like a kid's room too. But this is the wild watermelon. Next is my home, which is like a dark purple wax. This one smells. It's a good smell. Um, I definitely get cinnamon in this. Let's see what. Sensi says, but I get cinnamon off of my home. Let's see what else is in here, because that's all I'm getting. Um, a new name for our favorite spicy cinnamon and floral scent. A must try. Yeah, maybe a little bit of floral. Yeah, 
very little bit of floral, but mostly, mostly cinnamon. But it's, it's good. I mean, it's not a strong cinnamon, but you do get the cinnamon in there. But yeah, like a cinnamon floral scent. So there's my home. Next is Thunderstorm, which is a dark blue grayish wax. This one, it's it's manly smell. It's a more masculine scent. Like a, I'm getting like a masculine soap type smell. Let's see what Scentsy says. I think it's supposed to be like an outdoor, but that's not what I'm getting. I'm, I mean, it's not a bad smell, but a very refreshing, sharp, spicy outdoor fragrance like the breeze in a storm. Not that's not what I'm getting. Like, you know, like after like a rain or thunderstorm, you get like a, like a rain, like dewy smell outside. That's not what this is. This is more like a masculine, like soap type smell. I mean, it's not bad. I mean, it'd be good for like a bathroom, but I mean, it's not bad. It smells good, but I definitely don't get where that smells anything like a storm, but <laughs> so there's thunderstorm. Next is French Kiss. This is a very popular one right now, which is a dark purple wax. This smells like fig. And I've also heard that a lot of people say that this is a dupe for the Bath and Body Works brown sugar and fig candle. Because it is. It's like a very sweet smelling, sugary type fig smell. So let's see what Sensi says about French Kiss. Um, sweet fig tenderly caressed by coconut pulp, exotic cedar, and caramel. So yeah, maybe that's where I'm getting the sweet. It's from the caramel. But yeah, like a caramel fig smell. So it's good. It's like a sweet, sweet fig, sweet caramel and fig smell. So that's French Kiss. Like I said, very popular right now. Next is Beach. It's like a creamish, tannish looking wax here. And this smells exactly like you think. It smells exactly like a beach, like a like a pineapple-y, fruity type beach smell, like island, like a like a fruity island drink is what this smells like to me. Like if you're relaxing on the beach, watching your kids play in the water, have like a tropical drink in your hand, that's what this smells like. Like a pineapple, fruity, tropical smell. Let's see what Sensi says about beach. Papaya and honeydew sweetened with a hint of coconut. So yeah, I'm getting the coconut, the papaya, yeah. So it's like, like a very fruity, tropical smell. It's a very good smell. Yeah, I like that one a lot. That's beach. So there's beach. Next is blue raspberry ice. And that's like a white wax. And this to me smells exactly like the rocket pops that you get in like the hot months of the year, like 4th of July, Memorial Day. Those rocket pop, the popsicles, that smells exactly like the blue the blue part of the the rocket pop it smells really really good very fruity blueberry ras blue raspberry smell very good smelling sensi says remember racing to the neighborhood ice cream truck for those red white and blue ice pops this fragrance recreates those perfect childhood moments with a stack of sweet cherry icy white lemon and blue raspberry so yeah that's exactly what sensi says too it's mm, it just smells really really good very good, berry, blue, like, so if you like, like, the berry scents, this would definitely be for you. So that's Blue Raspberry Ice. And next is Central Park Pralines, and that is a brown wax. This smells very, this one I'm not really particularly a high fan. It's a very strong, like, nutty type smell. A little bit. It's similar to Mocha Doodle, but this one's a little bit, a little bit stronger. I don't know if you've ever smelled Mocha Doodle, but Mocha Doodle is like a coffee, like a light, like mocha cappuccino type smell. This is similar to that, but not as strong as this one. This one is a very strong, nutty smell. Let's see what 
Since he says, a decadent confection of rich roasted pecans, buttery caramel, and cinnamon sugar. So yeah, I could see where they'd say the caramel, yep, and the sugar, but it's definitely nutty. Very, very, very big note or strong note of the pecans in this. So if you like like the nuttier smelling scents, this would be for you. And it is, it's strong. It'll definitely knock your socks off. So there's Central Park Praline. So if you like the stronger scents, that would definitely be for you. Next is Vanilla Suede, which is like a brownish, brownish wax as well. And this smells very, very ambery to me. This reminds me of a, like a body wash that I, that I just, or not body wash, body spray that I, that I used to have when I was younger. Let's see what Sensi says about Vanilla suede. Excuse me, jeez. Classic vanilla with a rich amber, yep, and hints of sandalwood and spice. A subtly masculine front fragrance. Yeah, I can see where this would be masculine, but it is amber. I don't really, maybe a little bit of vanilla, but mostly amber. And so this is a very strong amber, like masculine scent. And that's vanilla suede. Next is Sea Salt Mist, which is like a light blue teal type colored wax. This is another beachy type smell. Definitely smell like the salt of the ocean, the mist, you know, coming off the, the water, the waves. So yeah, this is definitely like a beachy type smell. The smell of the ocean, the sea salt. Let's see what Sensi says. Sensi says, conjure a gentle tide lapping against driftwood, a rustle of beach grass, a spray of ocean mist and sea salt with bright mandarin and sultry amber. So yeah, I, could, I can definitely smell the amber in this. Like right at the end, like right at the, like at the after, like right at the end, you can smell like a very slight amber smell, but definitely like the sea salt. So like a sea salt mist, like beachy type amber smell. So there's sea salt mist. Some of these are quite interesting. <laughs> Next is blueberry rush, which is a blue wax. Mm, and this just smells like fresh blueberries, like blueberries you would, you'd put over pancakes, blueberry muffins, the blueberry cheesecake and without the cheesecake note to it, just straight blueberry is definitely what this smells like. Let's see what Sensi says, because that's what I'm getting, is just straight, scrumptious blueberry smell. And it's good, it smells really good. A sweet surge of ripe blueberry leads a luscious bouquet of lively cranberry, black currant, and pomegranate. I don't get, maybe ever so slightly, but it's definitely blueberry. But yeah, that's how, I would describe this like the blueberry cheesecake without the cheesecake and the like the graham cracker crust. It's just straight blueberry and it smells really good. Next is cashmere, which is like an orange peachy wax. Mm, and this smells kind of like baby powder. My son had smelled this before he'd caught on here and it does. It, it does. It smells like a like a baby powder type smell. And I don't, and I think that's the, the floral in it. So it's like a florally, like powdery smell. Sheer floral bouquet combines Moroccan, Jasmine, Lily of the Valley, and Bergamot. I do not pick up the Bergamot whatsoever. This smells exactly like, like a, like a fresh powdery, like bouquet of flowers is what this smells like. So if you like, like the powdery bouquet smells, this would be for you. And that's cashmere. Next is Happy Birthday. I've already used a couple waxes out of, a couple bars out of here. But this is a pink wax. And this smells exactly like Funfetti cake. So yeah, just straight up Funfetti cake with the frosting and everything. Just a vanilla Funfetti cake, which is my favorite cake of all time. So if you have a birthday coming up or anything like that, or if you have someone that has a birthday coming up, this would make a great gift for them, because it does. It smells exactly like a cake. This is, this is what Sensi says. 
a candy luscious confection of sparkling sugar, fluffy whipped cream, and warm vanilla extract. But yeah, that's spot on. Just, just a very, very sweet candy, like the sprinkles candy, like vanilla funfetti cake. So that's happy birthday. Next is apple s'mores, which is a dark red wax. And this, to me, smells like an apple. And then you also get the s'mores. It's a very interesting smell. It's not bad, but it's definitely interesting. You get the apple, and then you get, like, the, the chocolate of, like, a s'more marshmallow. It's interesting. I mean, it's good, but it's, it's different. Let's see what Sensi says. Harvest apples, cinnamon glaze, and a drop of coconut milk lend a tantalizing twist to classic toasted marshmallow, vanilla cream, and warm cedar wood. So yeah, you definitely get like the apple and the marshmallow. And then like the cedar wood. So yeah, it's a it's a good smell. It's interesting. It's it's good. It does smell good, but that's apple s'mores. And next is red, red candy apple. Sorry, I already put a label on this. Red candy apple. And this smells exactly like, like a candy, a candied apple. So like at the state fair, you know, you get the candy apples. That's exactly what it smells like. It's just like that, that fake smelling candy smell. Um, let's see what Sensi says here. Bursting with tart Macintosh apples, red raspberry jam, sweet red berries, and strawberry milk with notes of brown sugar, taffy, and cotton candy. I don't... It's, it's interesting. I'm not really a big fan of this one. I mean, it smells good, but it's definitely not my cup of tea. But I get, like, the apples, and then, like, maybe it's the taffy or cotton candy. That gives it kind of like that aftertaste, like not aftertaste, but like, like right at the end, it's got like an interesting smell. And I don't know what it exactly it is, but that's the red candied apple. Next is Rock and Ruby Raz. And that is a red wax, red wax. Sorry, can't talk. This to me smells exactly like a big bowl of punch. Hawaiian punch, Kool-Aid, exactly what this smells like. Like a punchy Kool-Aid, like a Hawaiian punch. You, like you just poured yourself a glass of Hawaiian punch and you smell it. It's exactly what this smells like. Let's see what Sensi says. Birthday parties and punch bowls and presents piled high. This fruity blend of juicy orange, fresh strawberry, and sweet candy glaze is a child's best day, all wrapped up in one perfect fragrance. But yeah, this is definitely like a fruit punch like Kool-Aid, Hawaiian punch type smell. So it's good. I like it. That's Rock and Ruby Raz. Next is World Traveler. This is a very masculine scent. I normally do not like masculine scents, but this smells exactly like a man getting out of the shower. <laughs> it's exactly what this smells like. I'm definitely going to put this in my bathroom because... It does. It's just like totally knock your socks off. Man's cologne. Like just got out of the shower. So like picture like one of them commercials where a really hot man gets out of the shower. That's what this smells like to me. World Traveler. Let's see what Sensi says. Blackberry, dark pomegranate, and oak bark inspire adventure. So yeah, this, like I said, I normally don't like the masculine scents, but I do like this one. Definitely like this one a lot. So that's... World Traveler. Next is Blonde Wood and Moonflower, which is like a peach colored wax. This one I don't really care for. I don't really know exactly what this smells like, but it's a very light smelling wax. I'm not sure exactly what this smells. I think I had to look it up when I did my live too on Facebook. Um, so let's see what Sensi says because I'm not sure. 
Pale warm wood and amber envelop demure moonflower, delicate white roses, and upturned lilies in a modern magical fragrance. I do get a little bit of the amber. So maybe that's what it is. It's the amber and then like a like a floral, like light floral smell. But that's what that one smells like. It's like an amber florally type smell. And I don't really care for it. I mean, it's all right, but it's definitely not my cup of tea, which is, this is blonde wood and moonflower. Definitely not one I would pick up, but it's not bad. Next is Rum Raisin Cookie, which is like a brown, light brown wax. And this is probably definitely going to be a bakery smell. So if you like the bakery smell, this one would definitely be for you. Mm, and it does. It smells like an oatmeal raisin cookie. So it's like, you kind of get like the gingerbread in there too. I've never smelled. Now that I rub it, I do. I get like, like the gingerbread, like a ginger smell out of it. Hmm. I wonder if there's any gingerbread in this because now that I, now that I smell it, that's what I'm getting. Hmm. Freshly baked cookie dough, sumptuously, sumptuously spiced with rum, raisin and clove will transport you to the corner bakery. So maybe it's the spice that I'm smelling. I mean, it's not bad, but it's, it is, it's like spicy, like a gingerbread cookie. And then like a, like a cookie. So yeah, it smells like a spicy gingerbread cookie. And that's rum raisin cookie. Next is Southern Evening. And that is a dark blue wax. This is kind of like a masculine smell, but not really. I like it. I don't know what I'm, what exactly the notes are in this. Like a trace of perfume lingering sweetly in her wake, this romantic twirl of French lavender, geranium, subtle fruits, and white musk will prove an enchanting escape. So maybe it's the French lavender, French lavender, and like the musky smell. So it's not bad. I like it. French lavender and musk. It's, it's a different smell. Not one that I think that I would think I would like. Not bad. So there's Southern Evening. Next is Fields of Gold, which is like a tannish, brownish type colored wax. And this one I don't really care for at all. It's very ambery. Yeah, I don't. Very strong amber smell in this one too. Um, fields of gold here. Let's see. Golden bergamot, reddish apple, and damask plum glow against ru rustic cashmere woods and exotic patchouli. So maybe it's the cashmere woods that I'm smelling, but it's very. Kind of like a manly, like cashmere type smell, but the cashmere bar smells better than this. Because cashmere is more like a, like a florally smell, but this, this is more like a woody cashmere. So, yeah, that's Fields of Gold. And next is Jumpin' Jelly Bean, which is like a lime colored light green wax. And this smells exactly like you think it would, very fruity like a jelly bean type. Definitely get apples, pears in this. So it's like an apple pear jelly bean. That's what this smells like. Let's see what Sensi says here. It's crisp pear and apple, zesty lemon and sugar evoke sweet childhood memories. So yeah, it's def I definitely get the pear, the apple, not so much the lemon. The sugar I can, no, oh, sorry, geez, eat the, <laughs> eat the thing. But yeah, it smells very pear-y, so you definitely get a very strong pear note on this. So yeah, it's not bad. It does smell good, but very pear-y apple smell, and that's Jumpin' Jelly Bean. Now, there are two here that, if you've been counting, I don't have with me because I could not wait any longer. I had to pop it into my warmers. The one that I had to pop into my more warmer was the banana nut bread. And I am telling you, if you like fresh banana bread out of the oven, that's exactly what it smells like. It smells, actually I have it in my warmer here. So I'm going to, yes, it does. You get the banana 
and it just it's so fresh it's like a fresh baked banana bread oh it smells so good i have to get more bars it says right from the oven with ripe bananas nuts and spices so not very spicy i mean a very little bit but you definitely get the banana a little nutty but the banana is definitely a strong note in this and it smells oh it smells so good so yeah I already had to warm that because I just could not wait any longer. But that's the banana nut bread. And then there was one more that I gave away to my sister because she did a pouch party for me. So she was able to pick out a free bar. And she liked the Dark Harbor. And that's a romantic exotic fragrance of kefir lime and blue-green mint with notes of watery ocean, lavender, and mysterious amber. Dark Harbor was a masculine scent that I didn't really particularly like. I do like the World Traveler. But the Dark Harbor I didn't really care for. So I'm glad that she found it and liked it because I didn't really care for it. But yeah, that's the Dark Harbor. And those are the two that are missing. All Everything else I've got and I've smelled out for you. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I hope that there's certain scents, hopefully, maybe that you liked. Um, like I said, there's 25 of them you can choose from. I smelled all of them, but two of them, or actually all of them, but one of them today because I didn't have the Dark Harbor, but I did have the Banana Nut Bread, so... Um, you can either part purchase all of these in a pack and get all 25 for $126, or you can get one and get one bar for $6, or you can get six for 30, which is like buying five and getting one for free, or you can get three for 17. So it's just, they're awesome. They all, most of them smell really good. There's some that I don't particularly like, but maybe you'll like them. Um, it's just a definitely good variety. Um, so if you want to get your hands on any of these, like I said, they're only available for the month of January. So as of February 1st, they will no longer no longer be available and we'll, they'll go back into what we say and back into the Sensi vault where they'll be locked up and you will no longer be able to get them until they are released again to, for purchase. So um, like I said, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If, they, if these are anything you'd be interested in. I'm going to leave my website down below if you have any questions. My contact information will be listed below as well. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope that I did all right. I know it was a pretty long video, very pretty long-winded. But uh, yeah, I hope that you will um, like, comment, and subscribe. And you can watch the rest of my Sensi videos and go along with me in my Sensi journey. Um, so yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.